friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with part two of our envelope stack journal. This is my design team project for Fifi's Digital Designs. And um, again, we're making an envelope, a envelope stacked journal stacked envelope journal whatever you want to call it so in um, video one we put all the envelopes together so they are all glued in place and we put this beautiful panel on the back so it can be a free floating uh, piece a person could also put this in it's really big for a journal because it's the largest envelope measures um, I guess if you had a really big journal nine inches by um, by six so I mean a person could do that you could totally put it in a journal but um, and we ran our, our seam binding um, between these layers so that um, our, our uh, closure would be in intact would be fixed in place so what I did off camera um, as I mentioned um, that I would be doing is I went ahead and prepped all of the pieces so what I've done the way that I ke can keep track of this you guys uh, just again full disclosure is I have to label things so this is panel one front this is panel one back then my pieces are also labeled labeled as such this is panel one panel one front and panel panel one back so I will, um, just before we move on, I did not do any ephemera yet. I didn't do any pockets. I didn't do any tags or anything. I will be doing that off camera. And I will, um, I will show you that in the final photos at the end of this video. So I'll make sure that I don't upload this video until I complete the project. I don't see any need to bring you guys along for a video three. I have a really hard time uh, following um, a creator through multiple um multiple episodes of the same journal um, I think for me it's just um, they're they're fairly lengthy it's hard for me to dedicate that much time to to watching one creator even though they're fantastic um, the, the 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 work that they're doing is is amazing but I try to keep mine um, simple if you want to see how I make my ephemera you could hop on over to my channel and just hop around and see how I do it I have my own style as many um, creators do and so you can kind of get a get a grip of or get a get a grasp on what I how I do it. <laughs> so, um, so as I mentioned before, because we, we are making these a pock a tuck, when we glue this on, we want to make sure that we don't get any glue in here. So we're only going to glue here and around. So let's find the panel, um, the panel front. So this is panel front, something really simple, um, really pretty. And uh, so let's start with that. So I'm going to, I'll be speeding up parts where I'm not uh, talking a lot just to save time. Otherwise, this is going to take forever, but I'll pop in from time to time and talk with you as well as share anything that I come up, uh, come up against or come up with. This is really, um, it's a great kit for this kind of project because there's so many elements in each page that can be. Um, can be cut up and used in this way because as you can see this envelope is pretty pretty darn small so I found a piece that I thought was really really pretty uh, it's just as pretty even though it is um, small so let's go ahead and put this down and I did cut them just slightly smaller than the envelope base just to allow for that little bit of brown around if I mean, if it's not like that on all of them, that is okay. I'm going to put a paper towel under here so I don't get glue underneath while I kind of wipe this out, off. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and do the back now. And again, I'm going to avoid um, this area in here. <coughs> I decided to not put any thumb notches on anything other than the largest piece that's going on the, the back, um, the, the biggest part of this, the front of the um, envelopes, um, because um, I, I kind of like that secret feel, I mean, I like that secret look of, uh, you know, not really knowing what, um, 
what is going on. I do need to put a bead of glue, so I'm going to decide which direction I'm going to put a bead of glue right here on the, oh my goodness, look at that for, <laughs> for uh, not being shaky. <laughs> oh my goodness, because we do want to seal that, that back end, or this edge up, so if that makes any sense, I'm hoping. So again, we're going to go ahead and take our glue, I mean our paper towel, and just kind of um, get that all cleaned up and just do any last minute adjustments. And I'm just going to kind of wipe off glue as I see it because we don't definitely don't want things sticking together that shouldn't be together. So that is that front and back. And then this is panel two front. So and I put them in order of size also here over here. So this is um, this is inside flap up back. Uh oh, that's not that's not what we want here. Is this one? Nope, that's not it either. <laughs> Oh my goodness, panel two front. That's why I labeled them that way. Panel two front. <laughs> this will be panel two back. Oh, I love how that worked out. I did not plan that. I wonder if we should reverse them. I think we should reverse them so that we don't have samey samey. Yeah, I think I'm gonna reverse those. I did ink around these as you can probably tell. I'm gonna go ahead on this one, on these bigger ones and put the glue right on the paper. So. Here we go. I'm making sure that everything is pressed down uh, very well because we don't want any of those corners coming up and with the amount of glue I use it does generally ooze out push out to those those edges so I'm not too concerned about that so there we go that is so beautiful so let's go ahead and do the inside of the panel two so again, we're gonna we're not gonna utilize this space in here. We're not gonna put any glue there. This is going to go. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is gonna go this direction. But now we've got. You can tell it's part of the same image, but it's a different part. So I'm okay with that. So this time I'm gonna go. Let me see if this smaller glue will work. Um, hang on. Let me. Because in some of the smaller spaces, I need a little bit more precision. So right here, I need to be able to control the flow of glue here. So I'm just going to put it directly on here. And hopefully that's going to be the right place since we do have that extra, that extra bit of um, landscape that we, um, that we created for, the, uh, for any bulk. Hopefully my measurements cutting the paper accounted for that. It will be fine because over time it gets flattened just by use and I'll train it to kind of stay a little bit um, closed when we're done. So, but again, I will do all the ephemera off camera and you guys will just be get the nice surprise of seeing that at the end of the video. So where did it go? Oh, right here. So we're going to go ahead and put that on right there. And I'm just going to play around here. It looks like I did allow for that, uh, that extra gap that we wanted. So that's good news. So let me just press this down really well. And I'm going to get rid of that extra glue, which means I probably don't really have enough there. I'm not too concerned about it. Nothing's going to like fall through. Um, let me see. Yeah, it's pretty open. So let me go ahead and just just get a little bit in here um, Just to make sure that nothing You know that if I get a tag a journal card or something in there, it's not gonna it's not gonna press through Well, why is that not working? Are you stuck already again glue? <laughs> this glue is something else 
Sorry about the, the moving angles, you guys. I love the sorry silk that or the seam binding that we picked. I think it's really perfect. So that is that. So that is the whole first right flip. Gorgeous. And then we've got a pocket here. Okay. And I'm going to run my little ruler. I like to just kind of get this in here and just make sure everything is open like I want it to be. And I just pushed that through. So I'm going to just press that again. And I think our other things were, were fine. So this was also, oh, we've got a bit that's not attached here. Let me, let me doctor that up. Oh, you know what? That's the side of the envelope. Let's fix that. It's not the paper. Let's just give that a second set. Um, sometimes you bump into the th these things as you begin to work on the ephemera. So we can always, I can always fix it as I go. But I love this because I love what I see a little bit of pink here. Let me move this in a little bit. I see a little pink in this design here, which I think is really, this is bringing that out, um, which is really, really cool. So I'm going to put fold that back out. And then we're going to work on panel three, front and back. Actually, let's go ahead and do, nope, let's do this first in case we get glue on that. <laughs> panel, uh-oh, inside panel, inside panel, flap down. Oh, must be this one. Yep. Panel three front and pa panel three back. So coolio. So again, I'm going to just kind of shift this and I'm going to put my glue directly on my paper. I feel like it allows me to control a little bit easier where it's going. We got a stuffed up glue here. Let me see if I can find a pin to, the pin's trying to go underneath my glass mat. Let's see if we can get that baby out. There we go. <laughs> the white glue is just so, uh, so tricky, so temperamental. Okay, I don't like it when that happens because that means some of this glue starts to, to set and then sometimes it won't hold as good. Um, and as I mentioned, you guys, um, in other videos, I don't know if I've said it here or not, but perfection is not at play in the studio. That's kind of my motto here personally. And so if I find something that doesn't quite um, feel right or doesn't look like I want it to look, I just let it go. Um, you know, I mean, if I can fix it in a, in a jiffy, then I will fix it. But I don't worry about, I don't worry about things being perfect. So, and I say that because I can see that this is off. See how we've got more edge here than we do as we move over here. But I am okay with that. I'm not worrying about it. So now we're going to do the middle base of the, the middle front. So this is the front. Beautiful image. This is the back. But I do de definitely want that on the back because I don't want it to be next to that. So let's go ahead and put this on. I think this might be my favorite page in the kit. <clears throat> Jury's still out. <laughs> this image is awfully pretty. But I love, um, uh, when I picked which papers from the kit I wanted to use, I picked things that had a common, 
color. So the reason why I picked this is because I knew I had the orange in here. And then I knew that these two would go together because they've got a lot of the same tones. So that's kind of what I'm looking for, you know, kind of as a, as a creator. Um, and I'm a mixed media artist, so I do think a lot about uh, tones and um, har harmony and things like that in a project. So that's like that and that's like that. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Ah, so that is that. That's beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to do the middle back and that is this image here. So I made the mistake of thinking that I needed to glue this uh, shut, but that's our that's our top loading pocket. So <laughs> I had to I had to stop that. But I do need to I knew, do need to attach it just a little bit on this tip because I do not want that moving around. So that's not going to affect our pocket. Should be fine. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to apply the glue on this instead of the paper. Give that a good press. I don't get too concerned about this edge because nothing's going to fall through here. It's all folding into itself, so it's not really that critical. Uh, on another project, it might be more important, but I'm not going to focus on it. There we go. So isn't that just, oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Beautiful. If I do say so myself. Okay. So here, let's go ahead and do our flaps first because again, I don't want to affect this. I don't want to, oh, I did that upside down. Our words are upside down now, darn it. I put my notch on the wrong side. That's okay, we'll work with it. So as you can see, my pockets here are different sizes. So we've got this to go on the front here and I love how this is tying in with this. Hope you guys can see that. Um, very uh, that's good artistry <laughs> that she's got the same kinds of tones going on uh, in each of her digitals so or, uh, or a lot of them rather um, the ones that are in the same kind of um, color scheme I haven't really got to know her so I don't know uh, what her style is or like I haven't seen her work yet other than her digitals which are incredible but I'm looking forward to um, to getting to know her better and seeing what she's creating it's gonna be epic I love doing design team projects I don't know I told her that I'm not sure that I can commit to being a regular guest team design uh, there's things going on in my life that just um, don't have an expiration date at this point and there are things that are I need to pay attention to so I, I want to make sure I guard that so uh, I told her that at this time I would just be a guest a guest designer so which is a privilege in my opinion because you know I get to pick the kit that I want to work with and and you know what speaks to me and I get to create what I want to create there's no you know, specifications uh, put, being put on me, uh, requirements per se. So I'm moving that up because I want to be able to get to this. So this is our inside flap down. So this is inside flap. Oh, I did those backwards. Ah! I wonder if I can move this because that is a problem. I'm going to see if I can move this without. Yep, let's do it. Oh, this was supposed to be on the back. I'm just going to set that over there for now. And the reason why is because these two go together. So um, I am going to, and it did say front. I just, I just did it wrong. Holy cow. Okay, let's get some more glue on here. Because I did pull off that, that layer and that can be problematic. So I'm just going to put it right here on the envelope. That was surprising that I was able to pull that off, you guys, to be honest. Okay, 
I think we're good. <laughs> uh, and because I, I picked this for a reason to go with that because it's from the same page and I just thought it would look really kind of cool, kind of sectioned out a little bit. So I'm just going to get the excess glue off. Give that a, and my, my paper towel is getting pretty, pretty nasty there, so I'll get a new one here. There we go. So, you know what? And if that hadn't worked and you just hated it and you couldn't pull the paper off, just put another piece of paper on top. It's not a big deal. Nobody's going to be, there's no police that are going to examine your work and tell you that you did it wrong. So now we're going to go ahead and put this, um, this on, this one on here. So this is a problem though, because I've got glue, you know, it's not sticky though. It is not sticky at all. I'm just going to rub this yucky paper towel over it just to make sure that we have nothing that's going to stick. It's feeling pretty dry. I think it picked up a piece of that, uh, part of that paint, that envelope. I'm going to get a piece of parchment though because probably what I'll do is stick the parchment, the piece of parchment paper in the pocket uh, so that it doesn't stick. So I'm just gonna cut one down here really quick, just as a safety measure. Probably not necessary, but I don't wanna take any chances. So I, I use this parchment paper for um, my mixed media a lot. So when I'm done, I'll slide this in here. Uh, if it was the right size, that would be helpful, or at least fit. So that'll slide into that pocket when we're done. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this on. So I need to put, apply my glue on the base, not the paper in this case, because we're gonna, again, we're gonna guard this area. Where's our other, oh, I cut, so I cut this envelope down, that's why it doesn't have one of these on this side. That's okay. We can still go up to this point um, with the smaller applicator. This glue is running out. I'm going to have to fill it up. I can feel it. It's uh, got a lot of air in it. I'm just going to try to get all the way to the edge. Good. Get good stickage. And I'm just going to come up here with a, the, the smaller applicator and just put a bead of glue right here. And across the top like we've been doing. Oh, yeah, we'll stick the parchment in the, from the other end, from this side. I hope this is making sense, you guys. Uh, sometimes I just uh, surprise myself, not in a good way. Okay, come on, let's get that on there. It's not going to be as apt to slide because now the base is a little bit rough. So, and the card itself is rough to touch, so... Um, that is okay. We're going to just embrace it. Embrace imperfection. So just giving that a good rub. That just helps all that glue to spread out where it needs to be distributed. And so let's go ahead and stick this in here. Now I'm going to also run my, um, my ruler in there as I mentioned. We have a little bit of stickage so that's just, uh, this is a way to open that up to ensure that your pocket is uh, is maintained. And I'm gonna slide this parchment paper in there. When I go to make an ephemera, I'll realize it's there and I'll pull it out. Just gonna stick that all the way down in there. It's gonna stick out a little bit because I don't wanna force it, but that's what we've got going on there. So that is that. That is that. I feel like every time I say that um, today, I've been saying that a lot. And uh, I think of um, the Little Mermaid and Ariel and the Little Mermaid and how she's like picking all those found objects. And this is this and that is that. <laughs> oh, probably too much information, huh? But isn't this pretty? This needed to go with this. That was that was on purpose. So I'm glad we were able to resolve that little boo-boo. We don't have any pocket to protect, or opening to protect rather, on this uh, side of the envelope. I'm not very good with the little glue thing. I can't make a straight line. We can't all be gifted in such ways. <laughs> 
and then this one so so I flipped so this one I made sure that I, I put this in the right direction because it's flipping down so but this one's flipping this one is okay in its its right orientation but this one I'll be watching because I, I want to make sure I've got it going in the right direction if that matters so I'm going to go ahead and put this here I'm going to turn this so I can get at it we're going to go ahead and put her down there we go I just watched uh, this morning, I watched a video by uh, on Rach and Bella's channel where she did this like wonky envelope stack and I totally want to try that. I love envelope, envelope stacks. I don't like, um, there were some elements on hers that I didn't care for, but it's a pro it's one of those projects that you could definitely make your own and do it the way that, that makes you happy. So I'm going to be doing that for sure. So there is that. And... So now we're going to go ahead and do the inside. So this is going to flip up. And that's the part that I'm paying attention to. And I'm paying attention to it in relation to this. Because this is a piece of this paper. So it's not exactly because I had to cut some off. but um, So I think it needs to go this way because this design is on this side as it is on this side. So that's just what I wanted to show you. I'm going to turn this sideways so I can get at it. So I'm just going to put that right there like that so I can see um, what direction I want that to go. And again, guarding that opening as we've been doing. So I'm just going to get a little bit more here because that wasn't very, wasn't very good. And our little precision applicator here, get some glue up here. You got to get enough to make a difference though, Karen Renee. There we go. And so again, it's going to go this way. So I'm just going to slide that in or on rather, not in. It's not going in anywhere. I'm just going to press with my paper towel. I always have paper towels right here, and I use a lot of paper towels in my art. No, It doesn't matter what I'm doing. I use a lot of paper towels. I use a lot of baby wipes when I do mixed media, but there we go. Loving that. So I don't remember if I completed my thought. So sometimes you would want to like put a notch or something to show that this is a, that this is a pocket. Oh, where's our pocket? Uh oh. Where's our pocket on this one? Our pocket on here is here. So where is it on this one? Did I miss that? Hmm. Where is it on the side? I think we had done one on the side, didn't we? Oh my goodness. I can't even see it now. Maybe we don't have one. We might have to. We might have to do something kind of different on that little flappy. I can't find the, um, the opening, but we, we had it because that's why we did that What with the glue. So we had one, but that's the paper. I don't want to pull on that. Okay, I will examine that later. <laughs> But isn't that just so pretty? Even just laying like that, so gorgeous. So we are on the last piece, you guys. So again, I know that this angle is weird for you guys, but I need to turn it to be able to get this, get it in even. I cut these notches at the same time. I am gonna try to see if I can get some, some ink on here. So I'm just gonna use that parchment there and uh, get my ink pad. I forgot to ink that after I after I did that. So I'm just going to put a little bit of ink, just kind of go around and around. See if I can get some on that edge. Completely missed that. We'll just go all the way to the end here until we get that whole edge. There we go. And over here. Just a little light touch of ink is all we need. Okay, so keep turning that. <laughs> unnatural to look at it this way so isn't that just so pretty oh I love it and I almost feel like 
this these colors in here are bringing out those colors in this design so it's really great so I am going to be mindful um, as I do this to make sure that I'm lining up with my um, my thumb notch there in the uh, in the envelope so I'm going to go ahead and um, this time and put it on the envelope um, just because it's such a big area and that's not going to work let me get the big art glitter glue the the big mama so we got a lot of a lot of landscape to cover where's my where's my pin hope I didn't lose it I'm always throwing them in the garbage you guys Oh, there it is. Okay, let's try that again. Our last piece. And again, guys, I will be doing the ephemera off camera and I will be sure that you see all that in the close-up photos at the end of the video and I thank you again always as always for stopping by I know that your time is very precious um, and so I appreciate that you take the time to watch and that you comment and you encourage and you leave suggestions and all of that wonderful stuff. So we're just gonna tie this up and look at it all finished. Um, obviously it doesn't have the ephemera, but it will. I like that it feels solid. So at the, um, in video one, I think I talked about how I was trying a project where I was, and I was trying to use 20 pound paper um, to do this and it was just as a disaster. I think I can take this out now. Um, it was a disaster because it wrinkles more and the 65 pound paper just doesn't. So I'm loving that. Look at that. And so I think in video one, two, I thought I didn't have anything here, but we have this. So I'll probably just put some writing paper or something in there. Nothing really big. Um, so there we go. So that is that and that is that and that is that. And we're going to tie it up. I cut my uh, my seam binding down a little bit too, so it was pretty long. But I'm I'm loving this color because it's actually the same color as. Let me show you here. I'm just gonna I like a big bow. I'll probably put a dangle or something on there too. Um, but it's the same tone as this. This this is not black. This is a gray black, and this is a gray. It's it's not as black as that, but you can definitely see how it is unifying everything. So look at that beauty. So I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.